Now you're at the boss encounter for Vesper's host. In this, you're going to use your operator, your suppressor, and scanner, and put all that knowledge together to beat the boss. You're going to be in a room now where there's a bunch of ads and the boss is sitting there. It's, it looks very similar to Deepstone Crypt. As you're killing the ads, you're going to notice the shank that shows up that has a suppressor. Grab this. You're going to need that because there are enemies in here that are shielded. They're copies of the boss that will chase you around and give you the radiation buff that eventually, if you get 10 of, will kill you. To stop this, you're going to use the suppressor to drop a clone, very much like you did on the second encounter. That clone will basically take the shields off of them and then you could shoot them and kill them so suppressor is doing that you can tell you kill ads and then the scanner is going to show up the scanner in this case you'll notice in the middle there are four pillars those four pillars have blue numbers on them one two three four the scanner is going to go around and look at those and see which one is correct whichever one turns white and does not disappear that is the number that you're going to use with the operator then the operator is going to drop. And at that point, whichever number the scanner had, you're going to shoot those. There'll be four terminals that you can shoot that are either next to doors, on top of the roof. They can be a little annoying, but you're going to shoot all four of those. While this is going on and the operator is finishing that up, you're, the scanner is going to go ahead and put their buff in. And the suppressor is going to too because you want those in the wash bins because you're going to need those later on in the encounter. Once you do that, once the operator shoots all four, you're at that point, everything's going to disappear and either the right hand side or the left hand side is going to have flashing sirens. That is the side that you need to drop down to continue this encounter. Go ahead and drop down. And once you drop down, you're going to proceed until you get to what looks like another mini boss room. You'll know you're in the right spot because all the wash bins will be there. They'll have all of your, the suppressor, operator, and scanner all in their respective places which you will need as you get here once you do that go ahead and pick up your buffs the suppressor again is going to protect everyone by continuously suppressing and taking out the the copies of the boss they'll have the nuclear thing on them the operator is going to shoot the four panels that are in this room once that is complete there'll be four copies of the boss that will show up you don't know again it's very much like atrax and deep stone crypt you don't know which one is the correct one you're going to go to each one. There'll be yellow on the map, on your mini map. You'll go until you see a white one. When you see the white one, kill it. It'll drop a nuclear bomb. Now, while this is all going on, you are going to need to go ahead and have everyone put their buffs in the wash bins because you'll need those later. Once that's complete, you pick up the bomb. You take it to the center area. Make sure everyone's in because you have a timer that will actually wipe everyone. And then what will happen is it will purge the room. You'll, get, you'll see some stuff happening outside of the room, like there's some burning effect, but you'll be protected. Once this is complete, you'll notice that half of the shield for the boss is down. What you're going to do then is you're going to go out. You're going to find another version of this room that will have the boss sitting there. And you just rinse and repeat and do the exact same thing all over again. Once this is complete and you put the second bomb in, you're going to basically notice that the boss has no shield anymore. At that point, go to the center room and you'll see a teleporter. That teleporter is going to take you to the room where you started. Once you get to that room, there'll be an elevator in the back. Go up and start DPS. DPS is a little bit tricky. You'll see the boss and you'll see copies of the boss. There's also lightning that goes around the thing that you saw within the jumping puzzle that will instantly kill you. That What we do or what we did that made this a little bit easier is on the left-hand side, you'll notice me landing here. And there's kind of a cheese spot you can sit here. We found that two people easily can fit on the top area here. One with a well. You can have multiple wells if you want. You might want to do that. But two people can fit here and do DPS pretty comfortably with well protection, even if the lightning strikes are happening. So the third person supposedly is supposed to be able to fit up here. We had difficulties with that. We did instead as the third person was down below because where this is happening at, there's one of those areas we can put the bombs in, those safe areas. They can just hug that wall and they're able to do DPS from that location. So continue to do DPS and then the boss is going to teleport. He's going to teleport right or left. When he does this, whichever area, one thing to keep in mind the lightning, whichever area during this encounter he teleports from, that's where the lightning is primarily going to happen. So that can tell you how you can move around the room if you're struggling. Once the well, if you have two wells, you're fine. Once the well runs out, what we were doing at this point is we were actually then becoming mobile. 
But also around this point, that's when additional copies of the boss are going to show up. And at that point, you could do one of two things. Um, you can kill one of the copies and get the bombs, which you could take it to the safe room on the left and extend his DPS. Or the elevator will open up and you can go down there if you want to be safe. If you decide to stay up there, take the bomb, put it in the room, it'll cleanse again. And then you can kind of stay right next to that um, safe room, right next to the door and do DPS. If a lightning attack happens because of his teleports, you can briefly go in. The other thing is copies of the boss will come at you, so you have to keep that in mind. Continue to do that, and that's your DPS phase. Once you're done with all of that, you do everything over again until you complete. There's no enrage mechanics. You have plenty of time. Do all of that. You complete the encounter, and you finish the dungeon. That's the video. If you liked the video, feel free to like the video. Subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians in the Tower.